Hello there. Welcome to another edition of the program. This is a platform where you're informed about activities specifically related to the overall development of Lagos State. I'm Loretta Chiogo. Now let's take a look at what's coming on the program. Lagos State Government hosts public officers and Christians across the state to the annual special Thanksgiving service. The Lagos State Governor, Mr. Akiumi Ambode, begins his first official function by signing the 2017 Appropriation Bill into law. And Lagos trains 514 youth in horticulture as part of efforts to provide jobs and sustain its beautification program. Mr. Akiumi Ambode. Governor Akiumi Ambode and members of the State Executive Council, as well as members of the State House of Assembly, gather at the instance of the signing of the 2017 budget. Six days after it was approved by the State House of Assembly, Governor Ambade appends his signature indicating his assent to the appropriation bill. With the signing ceremony done, the 2017 appropriation bill becomes law and the budget is set for implementation. Governor Ambade explains what this means to his administration in relation to the expectations of negotiations. The 2017 appropriation law is our contract with Lagosians to continue to build an all-inclusive economy throughout this year. We commend all the honorable members of the State House of Assembly, ably led by the right honorable speaker, Honorable Mudashiro Obasa, for their forthrightness and speedy consideration and approval of the 2017 budget. In line with the State Development Plan 2012 to 2025, and then the medium term expenditure framework for 2017-19. The approved budget for 2017 is 812.998 billion naira. Our goal is to consolidate the most milestone recorded in the last 18 months and propel our state to a path of prosperity in line with our four pillars of development plan. Pillars of our state development plan are infrastructure development, economic development, social development and security, and sustainable environment. Although the 2017 budget still retains the size earlier proposed to members of the Lagos State House of Assembly, the final breakdown shows a review of capital expenditure from 512 down to 508 billion naira, recurrent expenditure appreciated from 300.5 billion naira to 305.1 billion naira. The sectoral breakdown of the budget shows roads and infrastructure having the lion's share of approximately 141.7 billion naira, followed by education with 92.4 billion naira. Health is third place with 51.4 billion naira. Next is housing with 50.3 billion naira. Security law and order is allocated 39.7 billion naira. Environment 24.03 billion naira. Tourism is given 20.2 billion naira, while 20.08 billion naira is earmarked for water. Others are governance having 11.2 billion naira, science and technology 11 billion naira, and sports development 9.4 billion naira. The sum of 6.2 billion naira is earmarked for wealth and employment creation. Agriculture and food security has 4.8 billion naira. Youth and social development, 2.7 billion naira. 2.2 billion naira is allocated to women affairs, while 1.5 billion naira is given to commerce and industry. 3.8 billion naira is set aside for the 7.5% government share to pension contribution and 7.1 billion naira for pension redemption bond fund shortfall. The governor expressed optimism that the national economy would begin a path of recovery this year and promised judicious implementation of the budget. Our government is committed to prudent financial management and equitable allocation of resources for the general good and will ensure proper fiscal in the implementation of this appropriation law. To successfully implement this budget, we need the cooperation and understanding of all taxpayers. Civic obligations and duties of citizens have become noticeably better as we strive harder 
to improve service delivery in all sectors. We encourage all taxpayers to continue in this spirit and also take advantage of available multi-pay channels in fulfilling their civic obligations. At a press conference, the Commission of Finance, Economic Planning and Budget, Ms. Akiyemi Ashadi, explains key highlights and the underlying principles of the budget. In the preparation of the 2017 budget, recent developments around the world have been put into consideration, especially in the global and national economy spheres. We have maintained a conservative approach in estimating our federal allocation due to falling oil prices that was about $41.98 per barrel as at the time we finalized the budget. This is much better now. The year 2017 budget will continue to promote massive investment in security, infrastructure, transport and traffic management, physical and social infrastructure development, environment, health, housing, tourism, power, e-governance, education, agriculture and skill acquisition. Underlining principles of our 2017 budget, this includes continuous payment of outstanding liabilities, completion of ongoing projects, plan and systematic maintenance of existing and new infrastructure facilities, sustenance of goals of job creation, poverty eradication and wealth creation, continuous and efficient service delivery to the citizens. Above all, priority is given to the projects that will be completed by quarter two of 2018. We will continue to ensure tighter control of recurrent expenditure while still maintaining our periodic review of performance through the quarterly budget appraisal. Project monitoring activities will be intensified to ensure that our people get good value for money, for money spent, backed up by efficient monitoring and evaluation leading practices. The Lagos State Government hopes to fund the 2017 budget from a total revenue estimate of 643 billion naira with a balance of 170.1 billion.